In this video, I'm going to explain and draw the sensitivity and specificity table and how you apply it. Now, statistics is a fairly poorly understood um, part of the exam by most candidates. However, this table is pretty key and pretty basic uh, for you to know because it's a very common thing for examiners to ask because it's very easy for them to ask it and see if you understand it and able to apply it, particularly in the basic sciences viva. So for example, in my basic sciences viva, I was shown this table. I couldn't remember ex the exact numbers, but it was, it was something like this. And the examiner says, these are the results of uh, using CRP as a screening test for myeloma. And he gave me approximately 10 to 20 seconds to familiarize myself with this table. And um, he explained to me that these numbers here were the number of patients. And when a CRP test greater than 20, 90% um, of patients had myeloma. However, when the CRP was greater than 20, 25%, sorry, 25 patients did not have myeloma and so on and so forth. And he asked me what I could actually gather uh, from from this table of results of how useful CRP was in detecting myeloma. So before diving in, uh, you grab the pencil and the page in front of you and you start drawing the sensitivity and specificity table. So on the left, you have your test. In this case, it was the CRP. So it could either be positive, in this case it was greater than 20, or it could be negative less than 20. And then up here you have your condition. It can either be a condition or the disease of the patient and they can either have the disease or not have the disease. So here you have your table, your four by four table. So here are just some lines. And um, so if your test is positive and the patient does have the condition, then it's a true positive. If they test negative and they don't have the condition, this is a true negative. They test positive and they don't have the condition. This is a false positive. And if they test negative and they do have the condition, this is a false negative. So down here, using the vertical column here, you can work out the sensitivity. And here, using the vertical column here, you can work out the specificity. Now the sensitivity is the probability that a test will be positive when the disease is present i.e. your true positive rate. So this is worked out by your true positives over your true positives plus your false negatives. So similarly, you can do the same thing here. So your specificity is the probability that a test result will be negative when the disease is not present. So your true negative rate. So this is worked out by your true negatives divided by your false positives plus your true negatives. And then on a horizontal column, you can work out your positive predictive value. And down here, you can work out your negative predictive value. Now your positive predictive value is the probability that the disease is present when the test is positive. So this is worked out by your true positives divided by your true positives plus your false positives. And your negative predictive value is the probability that disease is not present when the test is negative. So this is similarly worked out by your true negatives divided by your true negatives plus your false negatives. And then the final thing that you can work out here is the accuracy um, of your test. And your accuracy gives you an idea of how often your test is correct. So this is your true positives and your true negatives. So your, this is worked out by your true positives plus your true negatives divided by everything. So all of them, meaning that you know all includes true positives, false positives, false negatives, and true negatives. So applying this to the question posed here, he wanted me to work out what the sensitivity and specificity 
of this test was. But similarly, he could have asked me what's the positive predictive value or the negative predictive value or even the accuracy of this test. But I think specifically he just wanted the sensitivity and specificity. So here, I've already pre-populated. Um, it, it it's already all, all pre-populated here. So to work out the sensitivity, remember, it's the rate, is, is your true positive rate. So here, it's your true positives divided by your true positives over your false negatives. So here it's 90 divided by 90 plus 10, which equals 90%. And here is your specificity. So again, this gives you an idea of your net true negative rate. So this is worked out by your true negatives divided by your false positives plus your true negatives. So in this case, it's 75 divided by 25 plus 75. So that is equal to 75%. Now, uh, I've, I've chosen very simple numbers here and, and in the exam, they won't give you very difficult fractions. I'll just, just keep it really, really simple just to illustrate that you understand the principles of working out sensitivity and specificity.